Despite the whale shark being the largest fish in the sea, very little is known about it worldwide, and even less is known about the whale sharks here in the Maldives. Over the last three years, the Maldives Whale Shark Research Program has been trying to find the answers to some big questions. How many sharks are here in the Maldives? Why are the whale sharks gathering here? Where do the sharks go when they leave the reef? And lastly, are the sharks found here exclusively Maldivian sharks? Or are they part of a larger global population? One of the ways in which we can track the movements of the sharks, as well as helping to estimate population size, is by using a technique called photo identification. Every shark has a unique spot pattern, much like a fingerprint. We use software originally developed by NASA to identify star constellations to recognize spot patterns on the sharks. By taking a photograph of the area between the head and the first dorsal fin, we can run the image through our database of individuals until we find a match or decide it's a new shark. Using this technique, we have so far recorded 84 individual sharks. We also share our database with other Indian Ocean countries. So, for example, if one of our sharks is photographed in the Seychelles, they would let us know and vice versa. So far, however, none of the sharks have overlapped, which suggests that the whale sharks in the Indian Ocean are not mixing as much as previously thought. Other identifying features on the sharks include distinguishing marks or scars, Unfortunately, many of these scars are severe, even life-threatening, and are almost certainly the result of collisions with boats. Because of evidence we have presented about the amount of whale shark injuries caused by boats, the Maldivian government is now taking steps to introduce whale shark encounter guidelines to the tourism industry. These guidelines are a very positive thing, as they will make encounters safer for the sharks and for the tourists. As well as individual identification, other information needs to be recorded, such as its sex and the total length of the shark. Sexing a whale shark is straightforward because, like all sharks, male whale sharks have a pair of rolled up pieces of skin between its pelvic fins called claspers, and these are absent in females. The shark's length is estimated using a measuring tape. The average length of the sharks we encounter in the Maldives is 7 meters. The largest we recorded was 10 meters long, and the smallest just 3 meters. The abundance of food in the form of fish eggs, small fish and tiny crustaceans, may be one of the reasons why so many whale sharks gather along coral reefs. Whale sharks are filter feeders, using special filters in their gill plates to sieve out huge quantities of tiny prey. By using a special net to take prey samples, we are learning more about what the sharks eat here in the Maldives. If we know what food they are searching for, we may be able to predict their movements, which in turn will help us to protect them. Another way of gaining information about the movements of this mysterious shark is to attach electronic tags to them. This year, with the help of whale shark tagging expert Dr. Brent Stewart, we have attached 10 tags to 8 different sharks. 5 of these are satellite tags, and 5 are archival tags, which Brent is preparing here. Both types of tag effectively act like a dive computer, recording the shark's position, depth, and the water temperature every 10 minutes. The archival tags are retrieved by hand, whereas the satellite tags are programmed to detach after a period of between 9 and 12 months. The information collected over this period is either downloaded or beamed back to Brent via satellite for analysis later. Using these tags, Brent has discovered that whale sharks can dive as deep as 1,000 meters and can tolerate temperatures as low as 5 degrees Celsius. By taking a small skin sample from the sharks, geneticists are able to analyze the DNA of whale sharks from around the world. 
The aim of this ongoing research is to establish if whale sharks from different regions are actually related to each other. Results from tagging, photo identification and DNA analysis indicates that the whale shark, although capable of traveling large distances, remains for the most part in regional populations. It is also possible that as all sharks we encounter are immature, that whale sharks in the Maldives are using the reefs here like a nursery. They're waiting until they are big and strong enough to travel further afield in search of a mate. It is looking increasingly likely that this small population of sharks, numbering no more than 110 to 130 individuals, is in fact a Maldivian population. It is therefore very important that people in the Maldives are aware that the whale sharks here belong to them, and the responsibility lies with them to protect the sharks. In order to raise much needed awareness as to the true value of this amazing animal, we spend as much time as possible involving local schools and communities in our work.